we're back. We're in the uh, Powtoon Dino Cell Pub room, and we have Evo 10. Hey. This is obviously a customer's car. They have brought it in uh, as literally just needing a tune-up. So it already had every single bit of hardware on it. We've not added a single thing to it. It's simply cheered as working its magic on the tune. So this thing has a, I'm gonna have to double check with cheer. But from what I know, built engine, um, big freaking precision turbo, Mtron ECU. I think it's got like KW freaking um, shocks, like really expensive ones with external reservoir and all that jazz. Um, it's obviously got all the supporting mods to make this do what it needs to do. It's got a standard box still, which um, may change. I think it's probably gonna leave this joint with a sequential. We have one in stock. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's got a keypad. It's got a dash over there. Uh, I believe it's got, oh yeah, gigantic freaking brakes. Um, obviously big hand cook semis. It's got an exhaust that's stupidly loud, like almost to the point where it's actually, it's too loud in my opinion. It's probably saying, honestly, I think it's just as loud as my drift car. It's so freaking loud. Um, and so far, cheers, making 470 kilowatts out of it, uh, which is quite quite a lot of power for a streetcar. A little four cylinder, mind you. Uh, I know we had race car in the dyno here last night, making almost six, what was it making? Six, 600 kilowatt something? I don't know, I can't remember. God, it was only yesterday. Anyway, Cheers just had to scoot out for a sec, but uh, he's gonna do the final couple of runs on it. I don't know if he's hit peak power yet, from what I can see, he's corrected the drivability out of this car massively. Like, it almost looks like, we'll go through with cheer, but it looks like he's gained a lot of power down low, which is gonna transform the heck out of this thing. Anyway, once cheer's back, we'll get his word on what's happened, and um, yeah, it'll be quite informative, I think. We'll be back. Okay, so cheer's back, he's just gonna do a couple of runs, Guys. So you guys would have seen this on a previous video. This was actually on the hoist and the guys made sure it was all ready to go for tuning. So they uh, obviously check the spark plugs, do a comp test, check the injectors, do a blow test on them, make sure they're all good. Uh, fuel filter, all the little nitty gritty things before it goes on the dyno. Um, so, and then when it first goes on the dyno, they do a power run to see where the car's at, and then Shear works his magic, and you, you soon see the magic that he manages to find out of this journey. It's actually insane. I'm looking forward to showing you guys the results. the chair wants the water temp back because it's boiling. And uh, yeah, showed him a video of that. Yeah, that's a power steering bro. Oh man. Oh well. What's this mess with him? You know, see if you pick up on it. Mess with the chair. There's no fire, man.
the Michelin's on. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> the old Chia tune is done. Hey. Fucking two tanks later. Fucking all change in between. <laughs> Look at this. This is actually quite impressive. It's not bad, huh? That is, uh, so same boost. Same boost. I wouldn't know actually what the other boost was. I didn't actually. I didn't put the dyno sensor on it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. But it was the ECU was locked. Um, but the map sensor is 40 pounds, so you can't get much more than that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that yellow one is the, the four. Oh, yeah, so yellow one's the one that before. I rocked up with. Yep. And now the green one's the. Green uh, one's now that we've finished it. The cheer churn. Yeah. Power churn. Power churn. Sorry. Sorry. Isn't that iron team, mate? <laughs> <laughs> My boys got the car fucking ready for me, done a great job. This fucking cameraman did. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He checked the water, it was good. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to lose that one now. Yeah, he told me the car was overheating. Yeah. He tried to sell me a fucking Phoenix radiator. <laughs> Started walking out the back. Yeah, I think I've got one. Yeah, go, go on in stock, mate. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Can I? How do you work this bloody thing? Oh, look at that! Nailed it. So look at this. So it now ramps on under 4,000 RPM. Comes on by 4,300. It's making almost 150 kilowatt more. And then it's just towering over the old. That is insane. Still 100 kilowatts there. 100 there. Then it starts to match out there. And then it starts to tower on it again up top. Holy crap. And then in the end, makes an extra 50 kilowatt on top of the old chain that I rocked up with. God damn. And it revs further, almost to eight. Pretty much so. Not bad, Chair. Not bad, bro. Not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah. So you're gonna go road tuner? Uh, not yet. Uh, no. I'll be probably tomorrow, I think. So we'll cut to that. We'll be back. Probably all sound like this, but I think this is a 
first time I've
Phoenix Radio, you know? <laughs> Just stay cool. impressive we'll be back because uh we're gonna cut to maybe rob or chia taking the owner for a spin and that is gonna be a crack up more so than me getting scared so we got rhino here guys uh he's okay. back from jaboy no the middle east middle east so Qatar, kuwait all yeah. around there yeah on a yeah just a holiday <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he's uh he's fixing up the dash because when um, Chia was road tuning it, it was obviously not, config not configured, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So yep. basically, uh, because the ECU needed to be wiped and, and retuned, basically yep. there was uh, no communications between the dash and the ECU. Um, so I'm basically going through now and just resetting up the dash, yep. um, reinstating all the communications between the ECU and making sure that everything obviously displays. Uh, yeah, right. So that's going to have, what? like just your basic stuff or it's going to have everything so because it's an aftermarket ECU and an aftermarket dash um, most of the time you can display pretty much anything so things from coolant temperatures ignition timing engine RPM vehicle speed yep. um, then also because this is an Evo 10 you've got the ACD so you can change between tarmac snow um, and gravel so you can display that on there as well yeah right um, so that's effectively your, your center differential Oh, and the right. settings that, that sort of relate to that. So on the factory dash, there's like a, I guess a, there's a centerpiece on the dash and it tells you what mode you're in. So we can display that as well. Ah, yeah. that's quite cool. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. So sort of, uh, I suppose you can't really say how long it takes you to do it because it depends on how much stuff you're doing, I guess. Eh? That's right, yeah. So, yeah. you know, if, if it's a pretty simple setup, um, probably take maybe 15, 20 minutes thereabouts. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it's quite a quick quick process. Um, if it's a more complicated setup where, you know, um, the customer wants different screen layouts and, you know, wants you know, different things to work with, different buttons and things like that, yep. it obviously takes longer. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then... Can you put the fuel and the temperature on there? I can. Oh, cool. Cause yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right <laughs> you can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, you can't even see the speedo. No, it's all tucked behind there. It's yeah. not even focusing. But anyway. Is that factory? No, that's a... No, that's aftermarket head unit. Uh, that's oh. actually an Alpine head unit. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
Mm. It'd be cool if it could just go on there. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can come up with something to yeah. make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could anyway. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so we'll probably cut to uh, one of the boys here taking the actual owner for a spin now. Yep. Uh, and hopefully scaring the bejesus out of him. So. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut to that right now. Comes on, comes on early. It came on 